Hello and welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to give you guys some tips to increase your internet speed. So let's just start this with very basic stuff. How to use your internet connection properly for better internet speed. Do not use Wi-Fi. If you want to get maximum speed of your internet connection, then use Ethernet. Actually, I'm going to do a speed test on Wi-Fi and then on Ethernet connection just to show you guys that how much difference there is in between Wi-Fi and a Ethernet connection. Right now, I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. I'm not connected to the Ethernet. So let's do the speed test for Wi-Fi connection. I'm going to go to this fast.com and I'm going to let this speed test run. So 33 megabytes per second. This is the speed that I'm getting using a Wi-Fi. And I know that my internet speed is faster than this because I have a 300 megabytes per second internet speed. So I should get around 250 or 200 to 300 megabytes per second in speed test results. Now I'm going to disable the Wi-Fi and I'm going to enable the Ethernet and I'm going to do this speed test again for the Ethernet this time. So you can see instantly we have a massive speed increase. Well, exactly 300 megabytes per second. Yeah, this is the maximum speed of my internet connection or internet plan. This is what I should be getting always. Actually, my Wi-Fi router is right next to my PC. They are just you know happy couples <laughs> sitting together so i'm not too far away from you know wi-fi so still you can see this is the result you can clearly see that ethernet connection is 10 times faster than the wi-fi okay so that's the very basic stuff you should know if you want to get the most out of your internet connection you want to get the you know maximum speed you should always use ethernet if you're someone who can't use ethernet you just use wi-fi or you just want to use wi-fi and you want to increase the internet speed don't worry i have a little secret to increase the speed of your internet connection even if you're using wi-fi there are some things you need to know but as we go through this video i will explain how to increase the internet speed on wi-fi connection now for those people who just have a phone you can actually use a ethernet on your phone too yes there are these type of devices that you can use to convert ethernet connection to uh, usb-c type or whatever type of usb port you have so you can buy one of these they are very cheap you can look up on amazon or something so you simply connect one end to your phone and other end connect the ethernet connection and this is how you can use a ethernet connection on your phone if you want to now let me show you guys how to increase the internet speed without using a ethernet just using a wi-fi there are some things that you need to know so first of all uh, let me just do a speed test uh, this is on my phone and you can see my phone's wi-fi uh, card is better actually and i'm getting a better uh, you know internet speed not that great compared to my pc's one okay you can see i'm getting like 38 megabytes per second where on my pc uh, using a wi-fi i got 33 so not a whole lot of increase but what kind of a wi-fi card you have on your device also matters now the real question is how do we increase the internet speed using wi-fi we need to use a 5 gigahertz connection yes there are two types of connection you can get on a Wi-Fi router. Okay, your Wi-Fi router needs to support 5 gigahertz broadcasting. All right. So actually, let me show you guys on my phone. You can see I have a KB Wi-Fi 2.4, which is a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection. Second one, you can see KB Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz 5G. So if we use a 5 gigahertz connection, I'm going to connect to the 5G and I'm going to do a speed test. Yes, you can see there is a lot more improvement in Wi-Fi connection. Yeah, it's not going to be as close as the Ethernet connection, but it's still like almost five times faster than using a 2.4 gigahertz connection. You can see uh, before this, I was getting uh, uh, 38 megabytes per second but now using a 5 gigahertz connection you can see i'm getting 180 megabytes per second which is not that bad actually 
great almost five times better than the normal 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi connection now you may be thinking how do i get the 5 gigahertz wi-fi connection first of all your router needs to broadcast the 5 gigahertz uh, wi-fi connection if your wi-fi router doesn't support it can only broadcast like uh, 2.4 gigahertz then you know there is nothing you can do so make sure you buy a wi-fi router which supports both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz wi-fi broadcasting but there is a problem with 5 gigahertz wi-fi connection if you go far away from your wi-fi router the connection will be bad uh, the 2.4 gigahertz one will be stronger even if you use it from a distance and to use a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection, your phone or PC needs to support 5 gigahertz connection. All right. Uh, let's say, for example, in my phone, you can see I, I can see KB Wi-Fi 5 and KB Wi-Fi 2.4. So my phone supports uh, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection. I can increase the internet speed by just connecting to this uh, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection. But my PC's Wi-Fi card doesn't support 5 gigahertz. Uh, Wi-Fi connection it only supports 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection and you can see uh, this is the list of Wi-Fi connections there is no KB Wi-Fi 5 because it does not support 5 gigahertz so this is the thing that you need to know uh, if you want to use a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection okay now final tip to increase your internet speed so let's say you did everything you are now connected to the ethernet for better internet connection but you're not getting the maximum speed for example let's say you have a hundred megabytes per second internet speed and you're not getting that here you're getting like 50 maybe 40 something less than 100 then there is one thing that you can do some isps internet service providers have a really bad dns servers so you can use a custom dns server to fix this issue i will put link in the description for these two softwares one is domain name server benchmark dns benchmark software and one is dns changer using a dns benchmark you can benchmark the dns server and you will see which server is the fastest for your internet connection the second one uh, is also like a kind of a same thing using this you can also set up a dns with one click all right so open this program once you go here you will see list of popular dns servers you can see we have cloudflare uh, right now i think cloudflare is uh, out of service i always use cloudflare but i think it's out of service right now so right next to the dns server name you will see a number and ms that is a milliseconds whichever has the lowest number is going to be the best because it is a response time so here higher number means bad uh, lower number means good so choose whichever has the lowest number uh, usually cloudflare gives me the best number uh, i think it gives me like four or five milliseconds response time so i usually use cloudflare but right now uh, it's saying timeout which means right now there is a problem with this dns server i can use this quad 9 because this has the lowest number or the fastest response time i'm gonna select that and click save now after changing the dns server do the speed test again now even after changing the dns server if you get a really bad internet speed then you need to contact your isp internet service provider just call them and tell them that i have a let's say for example 100 megabytes per second internet plan internet connection but i'm getting maybe 50 you know half of the what i purchased what i bought okay just tell them that i'm being scammed here why you scam me <laughs> actually you know it happens it's a common thing uh, you know once you tell them that you're not getting what you paid for then they will fix your issue yeah it happened to me many times this is the last thing you can do to increase your internet speed just call them just in case if you're not getting what you paid for all right that's it i think that's it hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions do the comment i'll try to help you out that's it and yeah i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun 
拜拜。